and welcome. I am Trish and this is Trish Talks. And on this channel, I offer up tips on interior design, DIY home renovation projects, and gardening. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about a super hot trend that is also timeless. What is it, you ask? Well, today we're going to explore a new take on the gallery wall. I'm excited about this video because it will be super informative, I promise. But before we get started, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more content like this. Now, on to the video. Okay, so let's talk about the trending gallery wall. And let me add, the gallery wall I know is timeless. But first, what is a gallery wall? Well, it's a collection of artwork, photographs, and sometimes personal possessions hung in a grouping on a wall. And we've all seen these walls while growing up. We've seen them at grandma's house, at auntie's house, and just other places in our travels. But what I'm talking about does not look like the gallery wall of yesteryear. Instead, these walls are more stylized, more hip, and more intentional. So today I'm sharing with you seven types of gallery walls you need to consider when creating your modern gallery wall. And no, like a coin, each of the options I'm presenting is gonna have two sides. Gallery wall number one, white walls or non-white walls. So typically when people think of hanging artwork, many think it's best to hang the artwork on white walls. And this stems from the way art galleries and museums have traditionally displayed their art collections. White walls work well when the art itself has bold colors and can offer contrast to the white walls. This allows the art to pop off the walls and be the focal point in the room. With that said, many art collectors are moving away from all white walls. They are actually looking at the artwork itself in combination with the overall decor of the room. As a result, they are opting to go with a non-white wall paint. This is a dramatically different approach. Now the wall becomes a part of the art installation. The backdrop actually unifies the pieces and creates a frame around the frames. It's a nice look. Gallery wall number two, same frame, or different frame. Choosing the right frames for your artwork and your overall decor is very important. If you're going for a unified, organized look, then the same frame color and size will work for you. This look is balanced and puts the focus on the artwork and a little focus on the frame. However, there are those art purists who believe that the picture frame should always complement the image. And as a result, according to them, you will always be able to place the artwork anywhere amongst any groupings because the frame matches the art. Now, I don't necessarily agree with that completely because groupings to me do matter. The gallery wall should have a similar colorway and theme but I have seen beautifully done gallery walls that combine all the different types of framed artwork and it looks great. At the end of the day, this look feels creative and whimsical and less structured and I like it. Gallery wall number three, black and white images or colorful images. The black and white gallery wall is a classic and will never go out of style. And here's what you wanna grab for your collection. You wanna grab the black and white photos that are framed in a black frame. With this option, the focus is on the artistry of the image or the subject. This style says, come and look at my prize collection. Now, if you choose to do a colorful array of artwork, this works well too. These colorful gallery walls are successfully done when a consistent element or theme runs through them. Not every image needs to incorporate the theme, 
but you do need to see it as your eye travels across the gallery wall. Maybe it's a colorful message or shape or even the frame type, but there needs to be something that ties the overall theme together or it will likely only appeal to you. And you know what? Maybe that's okay too. Gallery wall number four, mixing the big and the small. I love this combination because this allows you to create a focal point within a focal point. And just so you know, I have a video coming up that's completely dedicated to creating focal points in your home. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more video content like this. Mixing large pieces with much smaller pieces of artwork on the wall does a wonderful job of highlighting a piece of art in a sea of art. The eye lands on the larger piece first and then spans out to connect the other pieces. This combination allows your creativity to flow through a well-orchestrated plan. This gallery wall design offers a very dynamic plan and I love it. Gallery wall number five, symmetry or random placement. So do you typically like or need symmetry when designing your space? Do you look for balance on either side of the focal point in the room or on the wall? Well, a gallery wall that is symmetrical is for you. The artwork is evenly balanced, the tops and the sides are perfectly aligned, and as a result, you have clean lines with a modern and organized feel. Now, if none of that is important to you, then random art placement is for you. Why? Because anything goes. There really aren't any rules here per se. I do personally believe that a theme should run through the gallery wall, but in terms of the randomness, the good news here is there is no need to break out a level to make sure anything is perfectly even or stress out about too many holes in the walls. Why? Because all you need to do in this style is just point and hang. Might I add that the random approach also allows the art collection to grow easily over time. Gallery wall number six, hang it or lean it. It's normal for us to hang our artwork. Hanging artwork creates order and permanency, and it becomes a part of the overall design in the room. And for most of us, that artwork will remain in place until the next renovation. But depending on the location, I mean, hanging is necessary because the artwork is in a high traffic uh, area or an unusual area. But the other option is to lean your artwork if you're not in a high traffic area. Leaning art against the wall is very popular right now. This option allows you to be uniquely you. First, choose an art ledge or a shallow shelf to display your artwork. You can layer your shelves with large and small pieces of art. Some people add empty frames to the mix, creating more depth and dimension amongst the artwork. Best of all, this option allows for the greatest amount of flexibility. You can add, delete, or rearrange pieces of art at your whim. I love that. Gallery wall number seven, collections. Collections are your opportunity to tell a story. A gallery wall filled with a collection makes it more personal and meaningful for you and others. Collections can be images from the same artist, a different era, or even the same theme. They can also highlight a specific interest that you've had over time. Collections introduce different shapes, colors, and textures. You can have a variety of images at varying heights, and no, they don't have to be images. You can use a mirror, statues, or even plants. The best thing about gallery wall or any of the walls we've mentioned today is that they fit within any design, any space, or any budget. And did I mention they were timeless? 
I love them. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And I will see you next time. Bye.